Hey everyone! Today we're making a hearty lentil soup. Um, this takes no time to whip together, so you can make this on a weeknight for dinner, or if you have some time on the weekend, make this ahead and freeze it into smaller containers and then you've got a great, great lunch that you can pull out uh, whenever you need it. So let's get started. You can make this vegetarian or even vegan, uh, which I'm not doing today because I'm using chicken stock, but you can use water, you can use vegetable stock. I'm just going to heat up some olive oil in the pan. You can use whatever oil you like at home um, or like we've used before, uh, clarified butter or ghee. Um, so we're going to heat up a little bit of olive oil. And then I already have um, a couple of carrots, a couple stalks of celery, an onion, and a whole sweet bell pepper um, diced up in you know about the same size pieces. I'm going to throw that into the hot oil. Give this a stir and we're going to cook this for about five minutes until the, the vegetables are just starting to cook and get a little bit caramelized. You can throw in a pinch of salt here just to get those juices from the vegetables starting to come out. So our vegetables are getting um, cooked down. You can see the onions are becoming a little bit translucent. And now I'm going to add, I've got some um, minced garlic, some uh, minced ginger, and uh, two tablespoons of garam masala. And all of those spices are gonna go into our pot and get cooked like we talked about last time. So cooked in with the oil and the vegetables to bring out the oils that are in the spices. So garam masala is a blend of cumin, coriander, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, I think that's it. Um, and cumin goes really well with beans and legumes. So we're throwing um, lentils in here and if you find that um, beans and lentils make you bloated or gassy, pairing them with cumin is always a good thing to do because that um, actually mitigates the gassiness that, that can occur. Cumin's one of the spices. Ginger will help as well. And we can put our lentils in. So that's one cup of green dry lentils that we just rinsed. We didn't have to soak. And I've got a can of crushed tomatoes here. You could use crushed tomatoes, you can use um, diced tomatoes or whole tomatoes and then just um, cut them up a little bit. Give that a stir, the tomato will help um, deglaze the pan so if some of your spices start to get a little bit stuck on the bottom then the tomatoes the acid in the tomatoes will help release that and then I've got about almost a liter of chicken stock here like I said you can use chicken stock you can use vegetable stock you can use water if you want and that's about a liter and then I think I'm gonna add another two cups of water to this just so that those lentils can really hydrate and I'm just going to pour this water into our pan of tomatoes to get the last 
bits of tomato juice out of there. And so we're going to bring this up to a boil and then I'll put a lid on it, let it simmer for about half an hour. And, and then we're going to see what it looks like in half an hour and finish the soup off. Okay, we're back. Our soup has been simmering away for about 30 minutes. Um, you'll want to check the, the lentils. So get in there with a spoon and just taste the seasoning too. So I'm just going to grab a couple of the lentils and make sure you want to do a test of like two or three lentils. Make sure they're cooked through, not mushy. And to me, I think these are perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then what I'm going to do is um, blend up just a little bit of the soup. So that'll make it a little bit thicker and a bit creamier. Um, if you don't have a hand blender, you can use a regular blender or just leave it. It's also fine as is. But I'm just going to say this hand blender comes in very handy a lot. And it was a $20 investment at Canadian Tire. So I'd say spend 20 bucks and you'll use this quite a bit. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of kitchen space. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm not blending the whole thing, I'm just blending a bit. Okay, so some of those lentils and some of those vegetables get kind of broken down, it gets a bit stewy. Um, so if you're using a regular blender, you'll just take out maybe a couple cups of the soup, blend that, and then pour it back in, heat it back up. And so now I'm going to add, um, I've got a couple cups of chopped spinach here, just for some extra green, extra vegetables that'll just kind of melt into the soup and a bunch of parsley that I chopped up and this won't require any extra cooking. You can just kind of let the, let the greens wilt in the hot soup as it is. And the soup will be really good um, tonight, but it's probably going to taste even better the next day. So if you decide to freeze some for later, where you're gonna have leftovers for your soup, trust me, it'll be even better once it's been refrigerated and reheated, just kind of like, like lasagna or um, chili. And then in goes the juice of one lemon, just to brighten up things, add a little bit of vitamin C, which is always really good when you're using greens too. So those, um, Spinach contains lots of nice minerals like magnesium and iron and to get the full nutrients from your greens, whenever you add lemon juice, the vitamin C helps you absorb the iron. So it's tasty and a health benefit. So that's that. Taste it again. See if you need any more salt and pepper. You can serve this with some crusty bread for a nice meal. You can put a dollop of yogurt, plain yogurt or sour cream on top or just leave it as is. I'm just going to eat it like this. Well, I hope you enjoy making your lentil soup. This is a nice, pretty inexpensive meal to make and um, I hope you enjoy. See you later.